how the client fills out a testimony from you. As you know, a testimony is automatically sent over to your client upon closing with them in Skyslope. So this is what the email looks like. It comes from you, the agent, in this case, which is Michael Seaton. The template looks like this, just a simple short email, and it says, Hi, Anna Del Zappo. Thank you for choosing Michael Seaton at Remax Executive. As part of our ongoing commitment to you, we would appreciate it if you would take a few minutes to share some feedback about your experience. From here, the client can click on the any of the five stars. I'll just go ahead and click on the fifth star, and it will take them over to this page. It'll have our Remax Executive logo, and it'll say overall, how are we doing? So from this point on, if the client chooses four or five stars, it will ask them for a testimonial. As soon as they switch over to one or three stars, it will only ask them for feedback. This comes into play in terms of what is actually seen out into the public eye. If they wanna give you a bad rating, it'll just ask for feedback and that feedback won't be posted publicly. If they want to give you a great rating, you can see how that changes over to a testimonial, which they'll have the option to post publicly. Let me show you what I mean. They'll fill out this survey, and they can add additional comments if necessary. From here, they click Submit, and it takes them over to this page. From here, you can see it will redirect them over to Google so they can copy that testimonial they just gave and it'll send them directly to Google for which they can right click and paste and then hit the five stars and submit that post out onto Google. As the agent, you do not have access to posting that testimony over to your Google business page or Zillow. This is because Google and Zillow do a fantastic job at making sure that these testimonies are actually true and they're actually submitted by clients or customers. So in this case, only the client has access to posting to those third party platforms. Now, let me show you how you have access to choosing those platforms. I'm gonna go back into Michael's account here, click review generation and then manage. As you can see here, Michael does have his Google business page, Facebook, and Zillow in his account. You can see each of these platforms are weighted at 33.33%. So what does this mean exactly? There is a 33.33% chance that the client will be directed over to Google or Facebook or Zillow. So each time you have a new client submit a testimonial, it might direct them over to different platforms. It doesn't direct them over to each platform at kind of the same time. This is to help make sure that each of your platforms are all getting hit with testimonials. If you want to change the weight of Google to be, let's say 80%, Facebook 10 and Zillow 10, you can certainly do so. You'll just end up receiving more testimonials on Google than you would these other platforms. It's my recommendation that within this section, you keep only Google and Zillow because we want more Google and Zillow reviews. And as the agent, you can't control if reviews are being posted to those platforms, right? You can't manually do it. So there is a way to post manually to Facebook and LinkedIn, which I'll show you. You can go over to testimonials in your account and then click manage testimonials. From this page, you can see what everyone has submitted. So you can always share to Facebook or LinkedIn by clicking actions, share testimonial, and then sharing that onto Facebook or LinkedIn. Once your client does go ahead and submit that testimony, right? They click that submit button. You will also receive a notification that they went ahead and submitted a testimonial for you. So you get to see what they say. And that is all on the client experience of filling out the testimonial review for you.